<laughs> See, you just had to threaten it a little bit. Wow. <laughs> somebody else. <laughs> All right. Blame somebody else. Right, yeah. Yes, I am. Yeah. Thank you. Pledge of allegiance. Do the. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, sorry. You're messing me up, Mike. All right. Pledge of allegiance. I pledge allegiance, allegiance to the flag of the United States, United States, States of America, America and to the republic for which it stands, one, one nation, nation under God, God and indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, if anybody's watching, apologize for the technical difficulties. Um, we're just going to do an orientation meeting tonight. Um, we get um, Matt familiar with uh, being on our town committee and to kind of just lay out our roadmap forward. Um, first things first, there's uh, one for each of you for ethics policy and confidentiality, and then um, the ethics policy is in there for you to take home. Mm -hmm. So, did you just sign it like you didn't even read it? <laughs> no more eleven in me, Roth. They're gonna throw you in jail. Mm -hmm. So, do they have um social media policy in here? It's in the Michael? personal policy. So it's not in here? No, that's just the okay. access policy. Oh, whoops. Did you, uh, whatever, <laughs> is that a cross out? Yeah. <laughs> you want to just initial that? Well, that's yeah. really confusing. Yeah, I'm like, uh, what does it say? I read it really quick. Yes and no. Yeah. I do not have any <laughs> potential conflicts of interest. Okay. okay. But now, so I think I spoke to some no. It's like you're initialing that one. Okay, just put a yes or no. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So put yes beside I do not have potential conflicts. It's pretty country and western, so check yes or no. I don't know. It yes. <laughs> yeah, no. You do not have. Can I just X up? A big X. Thank you. Big <laughs> X. <laughs> well, I was just reading it. I'm like, I thought I was checking things I was supposed to have, and I don't know. Or you can just print off another one, and I will redo it. <laughs> <laughs> so this says employee, but I'm not an employee. Yeah, whatever. It's just dinner. Just sign it and look at one. <laughs> That's what FedCat told me too, and now we're changing their whole MOU. Just saying, because I'm not signing stuff that I don't like, know how to do. So a lot of a lot of what I was saying next is not meant to be patronizing that rub. This is for Matt's sake. But, um, and if, and if you can, I'm good at that horse, let me know to stop. But yeah. some, the committees can, can really, there's a lot of flexibility in <coughs> the shape the committees can take and how they operate 
from um, a very small <laughs> working committee, um, just some basic established guidelines all the way to a very large committee with formal bylaws and stuff. Um, and then as a select board member, I can serve in a couple different capacities as well. I can, I'm currently, I'm not appointed, but the select board could appoint me to the committee to be a working member of the committee. Mm -hmm. I could, um, uh, or I could just be uh, a liaison um, to work with the treasurer to get information that you guys would request, report back to the select board, um, things like that. Um, so that's, and I, I have not tried to set any of that beforehand. I wanted you guys to work that out. Um, how the frequency you want to meet, do you, do you want to meet, um, do you want to work together at the same time? Do you want to work independently to where you, we might have like a one monthly meeting to review work um, or to, to, to divide up tasks or something? It's really entirely up to you guys. I, I didn't want to impose any of my ideas on what you guys want to do. Um, so that's, a, that's really the goal of tonight is to work through those issues and have those discussions. Okay. I think every <clears throat> I think every grant will be slightly different. Mm -hmm. I think being flexible will be key. Um, sometimes there might be specific things that we need from the town that only you could get. So, or you might be faster at getting or obtaining or know how to get them. Well, let me let me clarify. On yeah. That too, the select board just because Leslie has an extreme workload right now mm -hmm. with the audit um they want they do want just one channel back and forth with her yeah so they don't want Makes anybody sense. running to her every yeah. day for something different i don't think either one of us wants to do that anyway i think we're more comfortable having one person from so this regardless level. if i'm appointed or not then i, I should maintain that um I mean, I don't, I don't want to go back and forth with the he said, she said with town employees anyway. Mm -hmm. um, when I, when we ask for something because we need it for a grant, it should be like you guys should be directing that. Not, you know, we. I don't think either one of us wants that. Okay, good. Yep, that was easy. Yeah. Um, well, I, I guess before we tackle how we want the meetings to shape. Um, what are your feelings about me being a working member or just, just a select board liaison? And, and, and in either case, I plan to come to meetings. Yeah. It's just a matter of, I guess, what workload I would take out of the meetings. Um, I guess that's up to you. You want my preference? Yeah. Um, at this point, I would prefer to just be liaison. I really am carrying a lot. Not carrying yeah. a lot, but I'm really... Covering a lot of different things right now already. Yeah, um, they don't. I like, I mean, my, my fear is taking on something else and they yeah. don't put, I'm not able to put everything into it. Yeah. Right. Um, and that's, that's fine anyway. Um, like I said, I think, I mean, I'm pretty comfortable with the process. I know that it's been said elsewhere that I don't know what I'm doing, but I really do. And I'm pretty comfortable with the process. So, um, <laughs> I think that the, the writing portion of it, probably after we, and we've already set up a, a software, what's it called? Oh, like just using Google, Google Docs. Document, yeah. So that we can back and forth see as each other is working. Um, so I think the writing portion of it is going to be fairly easy. Mm -hmm. um, but like I said, the most important thing and the thing that was missing before was if we need information from a town department, I think that at that point, that's when we're going to need you to get that information. Would you be able to liaison to other committees? Oh, absolutely. Too? So, absolutely. like, just for instance, so I was looking over um, just a, it's like an eco grant type thing, which would be quite more involved, but um, could get substantial funding for. But it would be a lot to do with the conservation committee, Correct. which I could talk with them. 
Um, but having someone that liaisons most of the information, that would be good. I think that would, that would um, be appropriate to start with just communication with them, and then yeah. at some point they'd be joined forces if that's... Right, yeah. That because that stream crossing grant that you and I were talking about, I need information from, from them. Okay. Yeah. Um, they have to measure certain things. They have to give me species, identified species, okay. which they yeah. can pull from the state, when, and I can't necessarily. Yeah, absolutely. So, yeah. Other committees, um, other... Um, if a department in the town was interested in a grant, they could come to the grant committee or vice versa and I'm doing research. If you find something that it's good for another department, yeah. then we could coordinate that way too. Um, I, you mentioned Google Docs. Let me just verify that um, if we're sharing financial information that it's okay to send out over Google Docs. I can't imagine it's not because we, we use Microsoft all the time um, and emails. Um, but let me, let me just verify that. Yeah. Yeah. Um, That's fine. I'm yeah, not, I'm not I'm really sure, sure what's not releasable for financial. Right. And we, we can use another program if there is another program. I suspect it's okay, but I just want to verify that. Prefer. But I mean, I thought that I had never used it before and I thought that was great. I mean, Matt set me up with it and we were like writing back and forth and and I think if we can, if we can do that kind of watch over as each other is writing, I just think it'll. Well, it's more of a program. It's more so it wouldn't be anything we contain sensitive information. Mm -hmm. Basically, if we were working on a grant, and say um, there's be specific tasks, and say I learned something or got the information I needed for non-sensitive information, you just add it. So. You can both be working on a document at once, that's all. No, I understand that. Because um, yeah. Microsoft 365. Yeah, same thing. Same. Like, yeah. Um, yeah. Let, me, let me ask, too, unless you don't want me to, but let me ask yeah. about town emails. And, yeah. and this is why. Yeah. If you're working on town, um, a town rant, yeah. and you're using your personal email. Right, it's going to look stupid. Your, well, your whole, your whole not only that, it's oh, yeah. personal, but yeah. your entire email account is now open for FOIA requests. Okay. Right. So, I don't yeah, yeah, know that. Yeah, yeah, no, I didn't <laughs> know that, so. Um, same thing with your cell phone, just be aware. If you're talking, if you're texting town business, yeah. then your, your cell phone is open for requests. Oh, um, didn't yeah. know that. Right. So, but if you get town email, you can yeah. put the email program on your phone and communicate through yeah. email on your phone. Yeah. Um, cool. And for your information too, well, you'll be able to have some access to MMA, mainly school association, if we have questions that they can answer, or even there. Um, there's a restriction on it, and I don't remember what it is. I'll have to grab it in email. I'm already the town page for me to be with MMA because of appeals board. For the appeals board. board. Sometimes Correct. they get funny if you're on the appeals board and say you call for legal advice and you say it's for grant writing, then they might not answer you. Mm -hmm. um, but again, that's something I could liaison with. You'll have it. I think you'll, I think you can get a login, but you can't use the legal services, but you can use all the archives and everything. So, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and also I'll verify that. I, I did actually ask that already, I just don't remember the answer. But I believe the restriction was legal. There's some good information there. Um, let's see. It's all in the Lee's one. Um, I don't think that you'll encounter a need for. Robert's rules or anything like that, but that's up to you guys. Um, parliamentary yeah, procedure. I, I don't know. You're a working committee, and so I think we'll just. I don't know. And it sounds winging. It sounds terrible, but where it's just going to be us working on something, and then yeah. when we're request, I mean, it would be no different. Even if you weren't on the committee, we'd be coming to ask you or whatever. So. Yeah. Um, um, I don't the know only, if we needed any specific rules. Or I think the only thing formally you're going to want to do is yeah. post um, an agenda yeah. and minutes. And it could be simple yeah. minutes. We worked yeah. on this grant this night. Sure. And you send them to me and we'll get them to post them. Yeah. But that's the only formal thing I can really think of. Okay. That's easy right. enough. Agenda. Oh, boy. So, 
Okay. <laughs> it's probably a call about you. I get them all day. About me? Yeah. Well, send them my way. Let's talk to them. <laughs> um, is there anything specific that the town is looking for to get a grant written for? Or? No, I, I, Deborah's aware of this. I, I am working on one, and, but it's just for the front office. It's through MMA. Yeah. Through their office or for the front office to get their air purifiers. Yeah. For COVID, but um, they can get those through a grant through MMA. Nice. So I'm not going to stop working on that. Uh, I'll shove that your way. I'll finish that one up. Yeah. There's right. an April deadline. Um, I think Deborah had a good point. I, I think the first thing is just grab some Melania fruit. Yeah. yeah. Stephen King grant. Um, so maybe some state stuff rather than federal. Yeah. Um, yeah, the federal stuff yeah. is going to be very difficult until we get those audits done. Yeah. Federal wants three years of audits. I mean, on every, you can ask them to, to be put in a ski slope on this little bunny hill right next door, and they would be like, you got financials, yeah. they want to see it. But state and, stuff you can get around. And the federal, the state a little bit, the federal grants too, there's a, often there's a lot of strings attached. Yeah. yeah. Um, I was telling a story about the the engineer firm we have been talking to about the fire department they, they were that's one of the things that they'll look at in their proposal is if we should accept grants, certain grants or not because it could end up um costing the town more than they get in the grant right yeah uh, if you have to comply with some something and their, yeah. his example was they were rehabilitating a bus depot mm -hmm. and they ended up having to pay the entire parking lot, which was, I don't know, 5,000 square feet or something, right. uh, or 50,000 square foot parking lot, just to be able to keep their going up. So. Yeah. <laughs> I remember you talking about the, the meeting. Okay. There are some weird stuff like that. ADA is a big one. Um, anything that affects a building, you're going to have to yeah. be compliant. Yeah. Sometimes the cost of that, retrofitting a building can outweigh the benefit of the grant. Well, even things like, it, like if we were writing a grant for the ball field, they want to know what you have for them because it's a public spot. They want to know that you have wheelchair accessibility and um, you know stuff like that. So I mean, you just have to read through it. And you have to go basically point by point and check it off. Yes, we have that. Yeah. Yes, we have that. But um, when we were talking about town email, can we set one up that's just like grant writing committee? Yeah, I'll find out. Because if he and I can both access it, and I know there's always a shortage of town emails and they're always complaining about it, if we can have one that we can both access, because then we can both see. Yeah, and you, you, you can still email each other. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'll ask about that. Kind of like planning board at Right, yeah. Um, there was thinking. Oh, I don't know. It's gone. There is a um, thing that I wanted to touch base with you about. Um, the state is working with us for an ATV grant, and they wanted to meet with somebody from Lebanon, someone from San, uh, Steve Buck, who is the, um, the town manager for Sanford, mm -hmm. myself, probably our vice president, um, and the director for the state of Maine for ATVs. They're looking to do a large stretch, all well, the 10 miles from Lebanon up to Waterboro. And so that's gonna be somewhere in the ballpark of 100 to $250,000. So they wanna do municipal grants. Usually we always do them in Sanford, but I think they're gonna split them between two communities is what they're trying to do. Okay. So each, it's a pass-through account, so it doesn't affect the town, like it doesn't go to a general fund or anything. It just literally goes from state to you to us, and then we pay the contract. But it has to go through the municipality before it goes to the ATV club. Correct, yeah, it has to. So um, at some point, probably within the next two or three weeks, if there's time, I'm, I haven't heard back from Larissa, who's Steve Buck's secretary, but as soon as I hear about his availability, maybe we get together and... Um, that's something that I'm writing for the club, but it will affect our town anyway. So. Yeah, um, on that, um, just be, I guess you're going to want to pick the role you're going to play in that, whether yeah. it's the right, the grant for the town or to represent the ATV club, because there could be a conflict of interest there yeah. where you're, you're, the, ATV, the ATV club is benefiting from your work as a grant writer. The ATV club gets no benefit. The it's a community, so right. 
we, we don't make any money off of it. Okay. So the funding is from the state and goes directly to the trails. It, the grant will only pay for the work for the contractors on the trail. Okay. So it's not even like we're getting paid for anything. Okay. Um, so it's a, you know, if you ride a four wheeler, it benefits you. So I guess anyone that rides a four wheeler, well, which I do, a couple of this is a financial gain. So, yeah. Oh yeah, no, we're not gaining okay. anything from it. No, there's no money gained because it's literally it's uh, we have to front the money. But with it that big, I don't know what the role the state will play in it because we don't have that kind of money. Because <laughs> you have to front it to get it reimbursed. So okay, I'm not I sure how they're not giving you a chunk of money to spend. No, nope. we're gonna reimburse. It's fine. Right. So we have to provide contractor receipts for them to reimburse us. Okay. So. Yeah. So is, is, is that why the town is holding the money? The town doesn't even hold the money. So like when we um, do it with Sanford, well, I'm not sure why the town has to be involved, but they do. And Brian has, explains it much better. He's the director, so he, he can explain it better. But um, I'll compile all the workload and what the contractors are asking for. And then it goes to the town. and. Usually it's the park and recs director that he just signs off on it, goes to the state. Then we get the work done. I submit a reimbursement form to the town. The town submits it to the state. Okay. The state sends a check back. and it, So they're just using the town as a middleman yeah, for some reason? Process too. It, it is. It's a pain in the butt. But um, well, Do you want to have Steve come in and talk, to, talk he, about it? It'd be fine. Yeah, so Steve is the town manager for Sanford, and then uh, the oh. person that will be speaking will be Brian Bronson from the state. Okay. So uh, I don't know if they want to do a Zoom meeting or what, uh, if they want to do an in-person meeting, or, uh, but I can, I'll can i find out more, but I just want to let you know that's um, okay. something in the future that we'd like to do. I think they were talking about possibly a park and ride on the power line too, right on uh, Baker's Grant by uh, Potters, which... I don't know what's gonna happen there. I know Butch doesn't like the access route, and Tom doesn't like his field being used. So I don't know where the state wants to go with that. <laughs> but it's the state has um, easement to use it as a trail. So I don't know if they're gonna make Tom mad or you know try to work with the town to make the access route work. But that'll be something I'm sure that'll be part of the conversation. Okay. So, and then I'll come into the meeting. We'll talk separately about the access route, but. Is that why you asked me on the agenda? Yeah. I did. I sent a request to Paul. So okay. I just like to hear back from I think I told you I don't know if we're squeezing any more in. Yeah. I know it's really busy. But. Um, and then the other one was the there is this grant that I was telling you about the conservation committee would need to be a part of. Mm -hmm. They have to form like their own committee. I'll, I'll get more information to the present development. correctly. Uh, yeah, it's... Um, this community action, but it's not community. It's through the state. Come on, the internet. Go, go. Oh my goodness. Oh. That was, that was, that was, that was <laughs> like the gong show. Yeah. I hear it though. <laughs> right? I would hear it too. That's going to come loud over there. That's the speaker thing. Um, Oh geez, what do they call it? Participation in the Community Resilience Partnership. Okay. And um, that could help pay for um, updates on equipment. I know you were asking if it was retroactive, and I can find out about that too. There's there's different people that I can speak with to find out um, if it's retroactive or not. <coughs> That'd be kind of cool. Um, um, so. Do you you want me to ask them to come sit down with the, you guys? Or yeah, I can have something ready that? for the next meeting, and okay, if they don't mind. If not, I can just make a phone and call. Can you email the email me the link to that, and I'll, I'll put that sure. in the invite. I don't have your email, but so because we have that Stephen King grant is due right. April fifteenth, and that's a real easy one. Like I said. But where do we want to focus on that? Okay. Okay. Yeah, good because point. there are several areas. There's like art and literature. There is um, there's health and safety. There's buildings. Let me pull it up on here. Uh, well, funding the rec department. I like it. Yeah. Can you find a rec department on that? I think you can. Actually. Because I'll. I'll I mean, things they, 
Is she making Shelly's dream come true? Or? <laughs> well, we, we were talking about that during Arva, and I think there was some... I was going to save this for Thursday night, but I think there was some mixed signals on uh, the board's the direction they wanted to go in. They, there was talk of funding the rec department or a community center, but not the ball field. And um, I, think that we missed, I think that we missed that those are all kind of the same thing. Correct. So if you want to really, and, and I'm saying this because I'm proud of these girls, I know them, they're young, they're energetic. If you want to really look at a really good up and coming, starting from scratch rec department, Take a look over at Acton. They're doing a fantastic job over there. Samantha Singleton is the rec director over there, and uh, and I know her, and, 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 and I'm proud of her. She's doing a great job. But Stephen King Grant can fund things such as, uh, there, there's six criteria, li libraries and literature, mm -hmm. uh, education, art, public safety and public health historical projects and conservation projects. Okay. But I think that um, that if we did something for a RAC department, we could put it under public health. Because it's, RAC department is mental health and physical health. Okay. Um, you know, my one thing is, if you're talking about a RAC department, I really want to see something for somebody over the age of 10. I've been complaining about it for nine years. Okay. Uh, you know, this and there's nothing. But before, um, I have a list of stuff that I was working on today, but before we get to that, if, if it's questionable if that's, if public health, if recreation falls under public health, that's questionable, would, would we be better spent talking to Marcy to see what she needs in the library? It, and we may. I mean, Marcy gets all kinds of grants, and she does such a great job. She may actually get this grant. Okay. I don't know, but there is a list here of actually just hold on. Oh, yeah, oh, I even write this down. That's cool. Oh, it's the Maine Won't Wait grant. That's what it's called. Maine Won't Wait. And you can get funding for uh, the meeting video stuff, heat pumps for the building, EV chargers at your town hall, LED lightings for all buildings. So if you don't have LEDs, they'll switch them all over and pay for it. So we were talking about doing that. Yeah. So okay. that's what, and then there was certain criteria. Um, some of it it pays a hundred percent for, and then some of the other stuff you have to have a ten percent match. But like ten percent is really good. Okay, so just so you know, like myself as Lebanon and Momentum Network, I have already put one in in January for this for a um, a minibus, a handicap accessible minibus for transportation because I'm working with FedCap on that. So just so you know, I've been all through this and, and I'm telling you, it's a very easy grant. But here are uh, some of the requests that, that they handle. Uh, medical care, education, or other direct support for individuals, competitions or athletic sponsorship for children. Okay. So that's where I think our rec department uh, could get some money. Wheelchair vans or transportation buses, um, scholarship foundations or programs that award grants or scholarships. So you, if you, if you did like, if you were doing like for Babe Ruth, you could get. If you were doing a scholarship, they would give money toward um, making a scholarship. Uh, believe it or not, graduation parties or events. Okay. Uh, travel sponsorship or funding for student or athletic groups to travel, uh, renovations to churches or other religious properties, uh, film or video productions, book or publishing projects, uh, business developments, investments or loans, conferences, meetings, trainings or workshops, organizations whose policies discourage discrimination, academic research, fellowships or publication, shelters, hospital or rehab centers for animals, construction or improvement of playgrounds or skate parks, hospice programs or facilities, and animal therapy programs. Those are the, uh, the 15 that are on your list that they're looking to fund, that they're currently looking for applicants to fund. Well, if that's, so if that's the direction that you two decide to go for that grant, um, I just throw these out there, but the ball field, fence, and scoreboard, 
um, the Nesbit Pond dock and parking lot, which were gifted to the town through the Eagle Scout work, they right. need they need upkeep. Okay. Um, get the summer camp going again, and a Labor Day, a Labor Day, <laughs> a Lebanon a Day event. Get those going again too. Let's get some pride back in our community. Um, we don't have an employee running the recreation department though, and I, I don't know that the grant would fund that. Um, so be aware that it would have to be, I think the recreation department would have to be run by a volunteer or even a recreation committee. Some towns do it by committee. So, um, I know Shelley's really hot for that. If she yes. wanted to step up as like, is maybe the, the overseer of that. Yeah. Uh, you know, I mean, I don't know. I, I we'd have to read how that per. She can't be the department uh, head. Correct. But. Uh, but she might could. Be able to finagle her, yeah. She may be able to find a volunteer to take that over. Although I will say that uh, you know summer camp definitely is probably not a volunteer position just because there's so much responsibility for so many kids. You know, I mean, at we, that summer camp, and they're taking them out out of town on all these little field trips. Well, again, like the other stuff. I mean, it sounds a little, but yeah. anything that's a win is a win. And, that's right. Uh, Let's get a few under our belt. Yeah, get a few and stuff. What what one were you talking about? That? Oh, um, main can't wait. Yeah, it's the, it's the one I sent you already. So I just emailed okay. it to you, but that's part of the main can't won't we'll wait. Um, okay whatever and I was just I was looking over what people got uh, Waterford got for the town hall and firehouse got heat pumps 48,400 and so they got new heat pumps installed I don't know if we need heat pumps or not but uh, Topsum got LED upgrades to all municipal buildings 46,000 oh that would be nice they must have a lot of buildings that's, that's <laughs> it's a it's one that we spent on the street lights isn't it I think when you talk yeah. eco-friendly, though, the contractors, so they probably have their own contractors. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. If people see state... I, I, I will just mention that that's something we've talked about in this building, because when it affects one of our employees, there's these oh, lights. The, yeah, the bulbs. The fluorescent lights gives a migraine. And I know you can get LEDs. You used to have to take the ballast out and stuff, but now you can get LEDs that you don't have to do any modifications with the light because you flip a switch yeah. on there and plug them in. You probably know that. Yeah, it's it super things. cake. Um, Carabasset Valley got EV charging stations, $40,000. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know what that is. Electric vehicle. No, oh, I know. Right? I don't, does anyone in London know one? I don't Actually, know. Yeah. my buddy just bought one, and he's I going down to pick it up in Jersey this so weekend. All right. So, yeah. yeah. Is it all electric, Rias? Like know. a plug-in one? His is a Tesla. Nice. My friend there you go. bought a brand new Tesla for, for know his kid. Bar Harbor had a climate action plan and engagement in public EV impl implementation. 91000 Yeah, trying to switch over to electric vehicles. Uh, Camden purchased an electric school bus for fifty thousand dollars. So I mean, the obviously this grant. I mean, this is our local communities that got money from it. So, yeah. um, so it's like an there. energy efficiency. Yep. Kind of they but they want, um, and I'll get it all together for the next meeting. That's you can put that down. I will um, work on this grant to find out what steps need to be taken. The deadline is September twenty second. Oh, good, nice. Uh, uh, Steven, September twentieth. Right. Yes. I'm gonna put. I'm gonna back up real quick. Oh yeah. Stephen King grant for recreation. Recreation. Department. I think so. I think we could do that. Um, and I'll put secondary library. Is that your plan? If you can't do the recreation department, is mm. a library. Well, I'll ask Marcy. I mean, if, I know that Marcy really wanted that. She called it the needful things. That could be on the recreation department too. Right, but I mean, I know she really wanted that for the library grant, project committee denied it. If you can only do one grant, you might be able to do that for her and the, the other stuff too. I might be able to because uh, some of the things in there were like snowshoes and right. you know stuff like that. So yeah, let me see what we can do. Um, talk to her about it. Right see if she still wants that. And then Matt Leggett is doing this. Okay. 
Cool. Great start. We could, we could find our animal control lady with animal therapy programs. It's like they're actively looking to fund animal therapy programs. Who knows? Is that so you can talk the animals back into their fence? Or? It's Dr. Doolittle. <laughs> <laughs> That's some Dr. Doolittle stuff right there, but... Yeah. All right, so, yeah, I'll, I'll let the select board know. No, the two are the... Okay. Perfect. Um, um, I have a bunch of random links yeah. and stuff, and I, it's probably... It's probably just too much information, but I'll, I'll pass it on so you can pick through it. Again. Yeah, especially I'm not gonna, and I'm not gonna this way your direction at all. No, no, yeah, um, anything that looks easy or looks state funded. Yeah, when I, if you guys come across this, I Shelly and I both think the town would benefit from putting solar in at the at the dump, like on the side of the road at the dump. Sorry, transfer station. And uh, or at the, the site down the road here. Yeah. That's where uh, I think it would work. Brownfield site. Yeah. Uh, and offset the electric cost to the town. So but I was I haven't found any solar ones for municipalities. That's a that was a question I was gonna have a long time ago because it's like one of the few states that doesn't have a grand solar. Is that working in Milton? That solar. Yeah. It is? They, um, they're not, the town's not getting money from the solar. The town is leasing the right. land. That's what Sanford's doing. Okay. So it's somebody else is actually yeah. running. Yeah. Because I know that they're having, I don't know, do you, do you go up 95 at all? Mm -hmm. So uh, when we go up 95 to go up to Augusta, there's like on every single two three of them, yeah. over lease, they're building all these it's things. Next era. And a lot of the state reps are like really ticked yeah. off because not only ours, but when I went up there, I heard from several. And they're ticked off because it's costing so much money to implement like the storage and how it's going to run. And it's still, <laughs> I mean, they're all sitting there and they're not even my, being used. My, yeah, my understanding of the situation with solar in Maine, and, and this is um, not direct knowledge, this is what I've been told from people who are trying to build solar, is there's different levels of solar. So there's, you those big giant ones are meant to tie into the, grid as a distribution, right? They're, they're, they're generating solar and they're distributing it. And it, it could be going to Maine, it could be going to Mass. It's just going somewhere. Right. Then you have where you, as a residential use, where you're just giving to CMP, right? And then they're selling it to the people right around you, your neighbors, and you get a credit on your bill. Yep. Right. The distribution stuff is years and years and years and years behind. Yeah. Um, oh, that's too bad. Because, well, there's too much of it. Right. So, I don't think people realize this, but everybody knows you can only transmit so much power to your house, right? That's right. why you have a transformer on your pole and transformer can only handle so much power. Yeah. What people probably don't realize is it, goes both ways like that. You can only right. put so much into the grid. Right. 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 So if you overwhelm the grid and you use too much, yep. you trip something and you get a blackout, yeah. brown or yeah. blackout. The same thing happens if you put too much okay. in. Gotcha. So I mean flip the switch yeah. Yeah, for a pun and open the door to solar and now there's so much going that they had to they put a pause on it. And CMP has to do a study for every single one now to ensure that the grid can handle what they're pumping into it. <laughs> and it's taking Crazy, huh? Is there wrong? Not residential, though. Residential is because it's being consumed. As soon as you put it in the line, it's being consumed by the people around you. Right. Um, so they're not stopping that. So Lebanon couldn't do a big distribution like that. So nobody's interested in leasing that land. And it's not really big enough to make it worth the money anyway. Eleven could do it as a residential use, so they could they have to size it appropriately to what we would consume. I mean, so many people ask me about like recreation facilities there and stuff like that. But after like Milton, after all that, what happened in Milton? I I just say like just leave that property alone. That has to be something where no people go so you know, for a long time. Could we do like a co-op, like Kenny Monk does? 
Like, so Kenny Monk has their own power because they buy it as a town. Um, I'm not sure. It's a good question. Mm-hmm. But, so, um, it is, uh, it is six o'clock. Yeah. Really started late. Um, I need cool. to keep the end time. Yeah. Uh, to get home. Yeah. The, um, I, I meant to start with this, but, um, just for um, everybody's awareness, can we just do a, let's do a quick introduction of who we are? Hi. And, um, <laughs> So, who are you? Yeah, so um, I'll start, but I think everybody friends. knows uh, Mike Walsworth Selectman. Um, I think most people know Deborah. She's on our appeals board vice chair. Still the vice chair, right? Well, I, I mean, until... Acting chair. The 13th is our, our meeting. I'm acting chair now because it's just... Yeah. It's fine, but the 13th round of the meeting, we'll figure that out. Our, our newest yeah. volunteer in the town is Matt Leggett. You want to tell yeah. us anything about yourself? You have a little bit of background yeah. writing rants. Just wrote the stuff for the ATV club, so if we could uh, get some money for the town if we can. That's he's not really all that new at volunteering. He just doesn't well, put his name on a lot of stuff. You know, he's, people know him. He's out there. He's yes. a duck egg man. <laughs> no, <laughs> duck eggs. No, they didn't mean to cut his eyes off when he no, no. <laughs> first time on a committee. Yep. Yeah. So Matt has Matt brings experience to the table writing grants, and Deborah has been formally trained by the town actually to uh, write grants. So I think they have a good team. A good beginning. Yep. You know, people, and also I just want to say on top of that, people know of grants, um, upcoming grants. If if you have an organization or you work for an organization, that helps with grants for towns or cities, or uh, even for small clubs here that we can pass it on to them. But uh, let us know because uh, that's another reason that too. to get a great community emails. People can email directly. Oh, yeah. yeah before, um, so can we not use Google at all? Or oh, I'm gonna if I, and if we do, so say I made a, a new Google account to call it the Lebanon Grant Writing Committee at gmail.com or something and had a Chromebook just dedicated to that. So if someone wanted to FOIA, they could FOIA that, or could they just FOIA any of my computers that have an email on it? Or? How does that work? Yeah, Not that I really care, care, but it's like all my business stuff is yeah. linked to my business email. So I don't don't use that business email. That email but if I created a new one, so they could only FOIA that email. Correct, yeah. correct. So if, right. you, made, if you made man, Matt at rantcommittee.gmail.com, yeah. that account. That would be perfect be because it's easy. We could... Um, if we use Google Docs, it could be just related to that. Right. And then I could put grant deadlines on it so we both could see it. Right. Or that a so calendar. So your preference over a town Outlook account? I have no idea. I'm not familiar with Outlook. And I don't know what their abilities are. I'm sure it's... I mean, I don't care either way, but if Matt will help me do that, I'll, I'll be happy with that. Okay. I will find out. I don't know if you're doing technology yeah, yeah, yeah. half the time that. anyway, so as long as Matt sets it up, I'll use whatever he sets up. You prefer Gmail. So. Yeah, I just right. everything I use is Google, so it's just it's easier. Right. I don't even have okay. All of my stuff so. is Google. Yeah. All right. So next time we meet, um, well, what do you guys want to show? So how often are we meeting? We, we oh, never, that's we up never, to you. Yes. We need, to, we need to figure that out. When's Everything. the next meeting? I don't know, but I know that April 15th, we is we got a couple of things. One, you identified one that I identified that are due April 15th. So we want to do every other week or? Yeah, I'd say let's do every other week for 30 minutes. And there's not going to be much. There'll be just a little bit of information we have to relay. I don't think we need an hour meeting. Yeah, just so that people just can keep like, up with what we're doing. Yeah. Because some of the stuff we're going to need that information or need. Tuesday nights, 5 o'clock? Yeah. Sounds good. Uh, yeah, 5. Before I say yes, I've got to look. You guys know I'm going to go crazy. Do you still have Wednesdays there? Because the budget committee's in there. Thank goodness, budget committee's in there. Hold on. Let me just take a look here and see. My new practices usually get over in the spring. Six o'clock, right? Six, yeah. yeah. Which five later. Yeah. So what do you you want to do Tuesdays at six? Is that right? No, five would be better. Okay. So, so we'll so get over at six. And... Then that next Tuesday that we would be here would be the 21st. And I actually have nothing to do today. Just ruined that. 5 p.m. Okay. And 
<laughs> and I'll, I'll take care of the minutes too. I'll go. Okay. Yeah. And then after that, I'll, I don't mind doing it. Pretty short. Yeah. Okay. Not much going on. Okay. Um, and the agenda for the 21st would just be to report on the grants. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that'll probably be like pretty typical agenda. Well, yeah, because we'll, by then we'll be all pretty much set up on Actually, I'll Google list Docs it. and, and, but it'll just be so that the town knows yeah. it. So I'll know. list the, these two grants under the agenda just so we can track them by name. Okay. Perfect. And then we'll cut our minutes the same way. So. Okay. Okay. I guess I'm the secretary then. Okay. <laughs> All right. Anything else? Yeah. 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 Yeah.